Hello, my name is Karis Barnett, and I'll be presenting my research on optimizing the separation of an antiparasitic medication using high pressure liquid chromatography, or HPLC. Now, this medication is a compound called Praziquantel, or PCQ, and it's used to treat parasitic diseases in fish. However, when it accumulates in water, it can contribute to a lot of waste in the water and that can contaminate the environment. So with HPLC, we can actually separate pharmaceutical compounds in order to improve waste regulation. As such, the research goal of this project was to optimize an HPLC UV method that separates PZQ and related compound metronidazole, or MET, in a common antiparasitic medication. Now, in the far left in section two, we see the two compounds used that were separated in the HPLC method. Now, because a nonpolar column was used for the HPLC and prazoquantel is the more nonpolar compound in this case, we expected the PCQ to loop after the MET because it would adhere to the column more. Now in section three and on the far top in the middle column, we see the two instruments used in this research project. In section four, we see the method parameters used for the HPLC. And the important thing to know here is that a nonpolar col column again was used and the overall method time was 15 minutes. Section five shows us the UV bis spectrum that was used to confirm the wavelength of the UV detector used for the HPLC. In section six, we get to our first results of this research. Now in this um, chromatogram here, we can generally see that two compounds are identified. However, they are not very quantifiable because they're non-Gaussian peak shapes. However, we get to section seven, and we see that this definitely changes. This, is, this was the separation done after seven consecutive experiment trials that changed mobile phase and column type. And in this case, the peaks are quantified, the compounds rather, are quantifiable because they're a Gaussian shape, and we can indeed see that MET did elute first as predicted. This is important research because we need to be able to understand how compounds like PCQ and MET are distributed, distributed and disposed of in water. Because aquarium facilities use medications such as this to treat fish of their diseases on a large scale, but they want to know how to use a safe amount of dosages so that they, so that they don't harm the environment and organisms around the fish. And in addition, PCQ and MET can be very toxic when accumulating in water. This research is very important to keep all habitats safe. Overall in this research, PZQ and MET were able to be separated in antiparasitic medication. And with my future steps I have listed here, I hope to further improve pharmaceutical waste regulation in water. I'd like to thank the UBC, UBC U-RISE program and the LaCourse Lab for their assistance in this project. Thank you for your attention.